Okay everybody, today I'm going to be testing the Euler's disc in a vacuum chamber. So the Euler's disc is a really cool phenomenon that happens when you spin a coin or spin something round on a hard surface. So what happens is that it starts to spool and that means spinning and rolling. Now if there were no friction whatsoever, air friction or rolling friction, this would continue in this motion forever. But what actually ends up happening is as it rolls, it reduces the speed and so it gets lower and lower and lower and vibrates faster and faster and faster. As it vibrates faster, it creates more and more air friction until eventually the air friction becomes the dominating factor. So I wanted to see what would happen if you actually spin a Euler's disc in a vacuum chamber. So I want to remove the air friction and we only have the rolling friction left. How long can we actually get the Euler's disc to spin in the vacuum chamber? So you can see how amazing this is. It basically just continues to spin when you'd expect it to stop by now. But it's almost like it has its own little motor in it, but there's no input in energy at all at this point. It's still the initial energy I put into that initial spin. So you can see it didn't quite fit in my vacuum chamber, so I had to angle it just the right way to keep this level. So I had to turn my vacuum chamber, so that's why my vacuum chambers turn like this, so that this is level. So I'm gonna spin it and then hurry and put the lid on and test how long it takes in the vacuum chamber. Okay, with the same setup, let's see how long we can do it in air. This is the part that makes it look like it just has a motor on it. Just keeps going. And done. Okay, so I even got a pretty good spin there. So that's how long it took in air. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Start the vacuum. Okay, we're at 0.3 atmospheres, almost a full vacuum. Okay, we're almost at a full vacuum now. Whoa, it's still going strong. I can't believe how long it goes. This might be the record for the in-air kind.
Okay, I think we're breaking a record. Oh, and done. Okay, that is a crazy difference. So in the vacuum chamber, we were able to get a whole minute and 10 seconds longer compared to in air. Mainly because it starts wobbling so fast that it has to push a large amount of air out of the way quickly. And so that air resistance becomes pretty significant. Especially at the last when it's very close to the ground, it's wobbling so fast that it's this really high vibration. So without the air in there, you have much less resistance. We were able to get a whole minute and 10 seconds longer in the vacuum chamber. That's way more than I would have expected. Even outside of here on a table on a for sure level ground, I got two minutes and seven seconds. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you can be notified of my latest videos out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab subscription experiment boxes. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.